We'll guide you through how to stream your PS5 on TikTok. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. It's important to note that you are gonna need a mobile device or a tablet for this guide. Um, so that can be an Android or an iOS device like an iPhone or an iPad. So once you're on your device, what you need to do is go and open up the app store like this, and you're going to go and need the PlayStation Remote Play app. And also you need to meet the requirements for streaming on TikTok, which I believe is a thousand followers. So make sure you have live access. Now let's get into this. So open up the app store like so. And what we need to do is go and get something called the PS Remote Play app. What this means is, is we can go and get our PlayStation screen on our phone, and then we can go and stream our entire phone screen onto TikTok. I'm gonna guide you through step by step. So let's get into this. So tap on search and type in PS Remote Play, just like this. You should be able to find it pretty easily. And then it's this one here. All you need to do is go and get this um, and go and download it. After you've downloaded it, go and click on open. And then what you need to do is go and sign in to the app. So go and click on sign into PSN. And then you sign in using the same PSN account as you use on your PS5. After you've signed in, there's then a data setting which you can choose. Next, you'll get taken to a screen about connecting your controller. So what you can do is go and connect your controller to your phone or you can just connect your controller to your PS5. You can do it either way. I personally just connected to my PS5, so I'll just tap okay there. And then it says what you want to connect. So I'll click on PS5. And after that, it then says before connecting to your PS5, there's a few settings we need to change on it. So we'll do that now. On your PS5, navigate to the top right and open up your settings. Then scroll down to system and in system, go down to remote play. And what you need to do is toggle this on. If you're unable to go and turn it on, then what you want to do is go out of system, back to your settings and go into users and accounts. And in users and accounts, go down to other and then click on console sharing and offline play. And what you need to do is enable this. This then makes it your sort of primary PS5. And after you've enabled it, then go back to remote play and you should be able to go and turn it on. After you've changed those settings, go and click okay like this, and then it's gonna start the connection process. So just wait. It's now saying linking your PS5 and shortly it will start checking the connection. And just like that, it's now connected. And as you can see, I'll just rotate my screen round. You can now go and see my PlayStation screen on my phone. So tap a few times so you get rid of sort of the on display buttons because of course we don't really need them because we can use our controller. And so now what I'll do is just go and connect my controller to my console. Um, or you can connect, connect it to your phone, as I previously said, and I'll just sign in using this account here. And just like that, I'm now using my controller on my phone. And so now what we can do is go and start streaming on TikTok. So we can just go and get out of the um, PS Remote app for now. And then what we can do is go and open up TikTok. On TikTok, open up the camera, then click on live in the bottom like so, and it will then take us to this screen here. And what you need to do is select mobile gaming. You've got device camera and mobile gaming, click there. And then what you can do is name your stream. So you can click on sort of the pen icon. I could then type what I'm playing. So I could go and type in PS5 Fortnite. Of course you can name yours what you want. There's a few more things you can do, but I'm gonna keep it simple and just tap on go live. And we'll then go and get this pop up here about screen broadcast and you need to click on start broadcast. Then there'll be a quick countdown here and you can click off this and then you've got 10 seconds. Then what you can do is swipe back here and you may need to start the connection to your PS5 again. I do, but just wait for it to connect. It won't take too long. Um, you are now streaming, but you've got a minute or two to get things set up and you can rotate your screen. And then as you can see, you can see your chat and stuff and live viewers and thing like, things like that in the top left. It's also worth making this info panel a bit smaller just by swiping across, because otherwise it sort of blocks up your stream and you can always go onto another device to look at your chat or you can just you know per periodically open it up, but that will sort of be, be included in your stream, which may be annoying for viewers. But yeah, that's it. You can then go and stream. And once you're finished, you can come back to TikTok by swiping across like this. I can just swipe over like this and then in the top there's a sort of a power button click there and you can then press n now and you can then see info about your stream and go and look at the replay and i'll just quickly show you my replay to show you i was um you know broadcasting fortnite and then here's the replay just to show you i was streaming my ps5 on tiktok so that's it guys and then you can go back to the remote play app and you may you can always close it or it will automatically do it if you found this useful please leave a like